about year five. So um, last week we did our Kirigami flowers and well done for doing those. It was a lovely range I've seen on assignments as well as on the page. Um, so thank you for doing those. Um, very impressed. Uh, five point flowers are tr much trickier obviously than four points because you've got to manipulate the paper as you fold it. So really well done. Um, we're going to start to kind of build up a um, an image, a layered paper cut image, starting with the flowers, which are going to be the foreground or the very front of the image. And that's why they are going to be a bit larger. Today, we're going to work on a paper cut forest or series of trees and plants that will um, be used as the next layer behind the flowers. And we're going to build up these many, many layers to create an image. Um, so I'm going to show you how we create this. Now for this task, um, you don't have to have, co have coloured paper, sorry. Um, you can just colour in plain paper and create the background. You'll see what I mean when I, as I show you. Um, we're going to work with white paper today. And then we're going to use the colour to contrast the white paper behind. And again, you'll see what I mean. Uh, I hope you enjoy. Uh, it's still folding and paper cutting, slightly different method um, to last lesson. And let's get started. Okay, so I'm using some A4 card actually. I, for some reason, don't have any white paper. So if you're someone who, um, has, like me, has run out of white paper, just plain white paper, you can use card because you're only going to fold it one way. Um, absolutely fine. And if you don't have any white paper, you can use coloured too. But I think the effect having the white paper on the front and the coloured behind seems to be the best way. Um, so this is an A4 piece of paper, a normal printer paper size. We're going to fold it, as you can see here, and we're going to cut it in half. So it's A5 and landscape. I just want to show you how it's going to build up using the flowers from last week. So these flowers here are going to sit in this, on the bottom edge basically, to create the front or foreground of the image. And then we're going to add our forest in here. Okay. All right. So I'm just preparing my paper. Um, we're going to do a bit of drawing on the back because what we'll do is we'll draw and cut out this side. Then we can flip it to get a really clean finish on the other side. So what I've done is we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six types of trees and hedges for this forest. And these lines here are three centimetres apart to give us uh, some guidance. And what I did, you can probably see here, is I've done markers all the way along the top using my ruler. And then markers all the way along the bottom. And then I join them up using the ruler. They don't have to go all the way to the top and the bottom because we want this to stay secure on the white page but you do want those as guidelines. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to use these guidelines, but only draw half of my tree or hedge. Um, so always try and think you're only going to work on one side of the line. I'm just going to keep working on the right side of the line. Um, so I'm always going to have half of my tree here, 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 here here and here and I'm going to try and make them in different shapes and styles to make the forest more interesting. Okay so I have got my um, trees here. Now you can keep it like this or you can add in a few extra details too but what I'll do first is I'll show you how we cut these bits out and then I'll show you how we add the details on. Now when you draw these, make sure that you're happy to cut them out, basically. Um, the smaller you make the details, the harder it's going to be to cut. So just be aware of that. Um, and if it looks like it's going to be too fiddly, rub it out and, and draw a slightly easier shaped tree, but obviously only one side. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to fold these um, because we're going to cut the second side and we're going to make a whole tree. To fold them, Use your ruler, put it on the guideline, and then lift the paper up and then press back on itself, like we did with the uh, some of the card structures. So this has formed a line down the center. However, and mine is a little card, so it's a bit trickier, but that's okay. Um, however, to be able to see it when you cut it, flip it over so it's that way round, okay? So you can see the cutting marks. I'm now going to cut, following my guidelines, all the way down to the bottom, there. Okay. 
Okay, so I have managed to cut out, keeping the card folded in half, the whole shape following all the outline to create the tree here. We're going to use both of these pieces. Okay, so we've got the tree cut out and then we've also got the tree shape there as well. And then when we start to create our forest, oh, sorry, we can then start build up, we can start to build up layers of trees that are um, outlines or silhouettes and 3D as well. It can be positioned all over the front of the card or the front of the paper. If you have paper, you won't have such a strong fold line here, which probably will look better. Because I've got card and it's so thick, I'm getting a little bit of um, a rougher line here. It doesn't matter, but just so you know, your paper won't do that so much. So here's my first tree. I'm gonna keep cutting and I'm gonna create uh, in total six um, outline trees and six 3D trees. So I just wanted to say something um, as I discovered it. Um, if this happens to you when you've cutting things out and um, when you've drawn it, it's gone a bit wide and overlapped, don't worry, because it's just happened to me. Um, it's, it's, it's normal, as you can tell. What we can do is when we build up the forest, we can always just overlap that join um, there with a different tree in front of it, or we can leave it as it is. It's complete, It's fine, it's safe, it's not gonna fall apart or anything. But if that does happen to you, don't worry. I also wanted to say, before I do my last one, when you're cutting out, if you don't successfully have all of these pieces cut out because the cutting's been a bit tricky, don't worry. Hopefully you'll have a few of them, if not all of them, to add on the second layer for the forest. But if, it, if one is too fiddly and it gets ripped or damaged, don't worry, it happens. We could always make so some my more. my last one, if you can see, I could see that this big tree here was gonna overlap this one, so I have made it smaller. I also, annoyingly, came off the line. You can see my fold line doesn't meet my ruler line. Again, if it happens to you, don't worry. Um, just do your best to try and fix it or just to go with it. Um, so here is my um, forest. I'm gonna flip it over so I can't see any pencil lines and give it a good finish. I'm then gonna to start to think about where I'd like to add in my 3D trees on top. Um, you can glue these on if you I have some glue. If you don't, you can just position them and that's fine. To finish off, we're then going to add um, a sheet of coloured paper behind to make these trees change colour. So I've got some coloured paper now that fits behind. I've gone for blue. Um, you don't have to do kind of green or brown if you don't want to. You can do colour. It's absolutely fine. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to work out where I'd like to put the rest of my trees and where they fit in the spaces. So you might have some that go slightly higher. You might have some that go slightly lower, but start to build up your layered image with your trees as best as you can. I might have to put that one next to that one. That's okay. Now, if you can stick these down, that would be great. Um, the best way to stick them down is just a bit of Pritt stick. Um, so then you don't see any tape or anything. But if you can't, you can just layer them like this and leave this, oh, let's just press that down slightly so it's not too 3D. Then if they are quite 3D, it can be hard to stick down, so you might have to give them a little bit of pressure to um, help them stay. We now then have our flowers here, which again, if you want to stick them down, you can. And I would stick them down just at the bottom edge of the paper here. You can overlap your flowers too. And you can start to see that we're building up an image I'm just going to reposition mine with a bit of glue now so you can see the finished effect. But you've got your kirigami flowers, you've then got your forest, and then we're going to build on another layer next week. And actually create probably what will be quite a good sized piece of work with paper cutting and kirigami. Okay, so I've just glued everything down to secure it. You can see um, I have positioned my trees here. And I've literally just put a bit of glue behind Always make sure you put glue behind when you're sticking things down, not on front. 
um, and try not to glue on top of something. So don't try and glue this tree on top of, um, like what, put the glue on as you're working here. Try and always glue away from your work and then stick it on. It just stops any glue transfer and it gives it a really good finish. Um, so you can see my flowers on here. My flowers are quite big. That's absolutely fine because the aim is kind of, we're looking at the foreground, which would be bigger because it's closer to you. And then we're going to work back in layers as it goes further away. Um, I hope you have enjoyed uh, learning a new method of cutting. I think this is really effective and I do get the effect that it is a layered tree forest. And all we have done is folded and cut the paper and added in a bit of colour for contrast. Like I said before, if you don't have any coloured paper, you could just use another sheet of white paper and just colour in um, the background. And that means also your trees might be different colours, which might be quite effective. So there's lots of options in this. But the main aim is to create six trees using the folding method. You cut out one side of the tree when you fold it, which creates then the whole tree, and then you build up a layered image. If for some reason you haven't got your flowers, don't worry. Um, the main aim for today is to show me your lovely paper cut forest. Please upload to Teams and I will give you some feedback. Thank you.